and welcome to today's latest property offering, the Whit Sunday Pilot. No, we're not here, but I just thought it's a lovely place to start the video because it's within walking distance to today's property. So uh, we're in Wellham today, which is near the Hot Pole. Uh, we've got the Chesterfield Canal, obviously, which links Retford. Uh, lovely countryside walks on your doorstep. You've got loads of schooling, so both primary and secondary are well catered for within the town. Uh, the road networks are well catered for. Again, you've got Blythe and Markham Moor, depending which way you're going, giving links to the region's major towns and cities. The market town of Retford, again, boasts a wealth of restaurants, shops, bars, all your supermarkets are there. And the mainline train station gives links to London's King's Cross and Leeds if you're going up north. Local tourist attractions, again, all on your doorstep. You really, you've got Sundown Adventure, a short drive away, you've got Clumber Park for the walks, Sherwood Forest for the Major Oak, and uh, Yorkshire Wildlife for all your animals. And then the little market town of Bawtry, again, is a short drive away, a bit more boutique-y, restaurants there, etc. It's a really nice spot. And again, the Crown Hotel's a nice uh, spot to stay as well. So here we are at today's latest property offering, Locker Bar number one, Little Gringley Lane. It's an absolute cracker. It's a real hard one to explain just how big this property is. It's vast, over 4,000 square feet. You've got five bedrooms, option of upstairs bedrooms, downstairs bedrooms, open space. You've got loads of reception rooms. You've got to have a look at this one. A viewing is essential to appreciate just how big this property is. Come have a look inside. Okay, not a bad break. But here we are at today's latest property offering. Um, I've shown you this part first because this is the former garage that's actually been converted. So as you can see, the current owner's got it as a bit of a games room, bit of a seating area, a piano room. Uh, but I just want to maybe put that out there that this room would easily suit like a little bit of an annex. So if you've got dependent relatives, maybe mum, dad needs to live with you, um, it would be, it could be completely self-contained. You've got doors here from the front. Um, you've got plenty of space here for obviously a bedroom or a living area, but it does work really well as just another reception room. Uh, it could have a bar there. You never know if you're into uh, entertaining separate doors out from outside and now I'll start the property tour. Come have a look. So we've got a bit of a different route this time. So we're now walking into the um, utility area, which has got your plumbing for your washer, dryer, uh, a nice aspect window there looking uh, over the garden and open countryside. Now we're coming into the front entrance hall. So the front door's there, there's a downstairs toilet there um, and then wait till you see this. So now we're gonna come into my favorite room of the house. Look at this. It's very, very hard to explain from photos just what this property has on offer. Look at this kitchen island, lovely breakfast bar, gorgeous worktop. So if you've got the kids or you've just got some guests come round for a bite to eat, you can all sit round here. It's just a lovely focal point. You've got double ovens, you've got a coffee maker, there, you've got a five ring hob here, all set into gorgeous worktops. You've also got dishwasher here, lovely window overlooking the garden and patio doors there leading onto your entertaining area. But here again, look at this. So you could have it as a formal dining area, could have seats here, TV on the wall, kids sat there behaving obviously while you're making dinner maybe. But then again, it's just got that party feel of a house because you then come through from your kitchen area into a formal dining room, uh, which is a great size. You could easily get plenty of guests, loads of family here. I'm just starting to wonder where these Christmas trees are gonna start popping up. Double doors then lead into your formal living room here, which has got two sets of patio doors and an absolutely gorgeous window there overlooking open countryside. So again, just what a room here this is just to entertain friends and family and enjoy those cozy uh, cozy winter nights that are coming. But again, 
you know, the summer months, get the patio doors open on the patio, get the barbecues on. I love a barbecue. I'm so upset that we're not gonna have them now for a while. But the last uh, kind of formal reception room that we're gonna see now um, has got the winter feel. So we're now gonna come into, for my purpose, I'm gonna call this a snug. Um, it's got the wood burning stove there and look at that view. It's just fantastic, overlooking open fields there. So this would be my winter room, get the wood burner on, get the TV on, a bit of football, a lovely job with a cheeky gin and tonic. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do this in reverse order really. So this is currently used as an, an office by the current owners. It would be bedroom five just for your purposes, but, but it works really well here. You've got two big desks, Again, a nice side aspect window there, plenty of space. It's easily a good size double. So you have got five big double bedrooms on this property. I'm just gonna point out here, we'll show you in a minute, stairs upstairs to your two bedrooms upstairs. Now this is one of the guest bedroom suites here. Again, lovely size room here. And you've got a little bit of a secret, which we'll show you in a minute, but that is a ensuite. So you've got a shower room there through the wardrobe doors. You have got fitted wardrobes either side. So there's a toilet in there, a shower, wash basin, etc. Really well appointed. And then I'm just gonna show you the final bedroom downstairs. Again, lovely size double bedroom here. Front aspect window, look at the size of that window. You've got fitted wardrobes here, and this utilizes the downstairs family bathroom, which is really, really well appointed. So you've got a jacuzzi style bath there. You've got a walk-in shower cubicle here with a rain shower here. Gorgeous tiled floor, half tiled walls, and a nice heated towel rail there. So I'm just gonna show you, we've kind of gone round full circle now. There's a door into the dining room here, and then this is back into my favorite. So it's really, really flexible accommodation here. You know, if you do need those downstairs bedrooms, then this is the perfect property for you. But for this purpose now, we're gonna go and show you the upstairs. Okay, so we've saved two bedrooms for the um, end of the video here. These are probably the two biggest bedrooms, both benefiting from ensuite shower rooms here. So you've got a lovely size double bedroom here. You've got fitted wardrobes there. Uh, patio doors there with a Juliet style balcony to the front aspect and a nice ensuite shower room there with a walk-in shower cubicle. And then we'll have a look at what we'll call the master bedroom suite. So you've got a gorgeous ensuite shower room there. Again, walk-in shower with a rain shower over. Really well appointed, it looks really, really nice. And then look at the size of this. Again, you've got fitted wardrobes here. Uh, plenty of wardrobe space for those shoes, bags and shirts, etc. And then take a look at that. Look at the view from this master bedroom suite. It's just to die for overlooking open countryside. It's a cracker. Okay, so what a spot this is. Just coming from your master bedroom. It's an absolute cracker. But I'm just gonna have a quick recap. So downstairs, you've got a gorgeous open plan kitchen is really well appointed with your gorgeous kitchen island as a focal point it could be a living area it could be a seated area for dining etc you then walk into your dining room then you've got a gorgeous living room and that cozy snug you've got three bedrooms downstairs on this property one of them's got the ensuite through the secret wardrobe and two of them do share the family bathroom with a jacuzzi bath and a walk-in shower then you've got the two bedrooms upstairs, which are absolutely cracking in size, fitted wardrobes, both with en suites, both with this view. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm just gonna put it out there. This might suit two generations of family. So if you are looking at maybe mortgages are tight nowadays, so you might think about moving in with mum and dad, you've got that option because of the upstairs bedrooms, the downstairs bedrooms. It's a vast property to have your own space. Over 4,000 square foot of living accommodation. Look at the size of these gardens. Look at the fantastic views. You've got veg plots at the front. You've got plenty of entertaining area here, taking advantage of those summer sunsets which are gonna happen just over there. I've got some fantastic shots of the sun setting. Uh, 
It's a cracker guys, it's a five bedroom detached property, 4,000 square foot, loads of reception space. If you are looking for this, give Alistair a call 07854 862 101. Thank you very much.